So we start this article by saying many base jumpers leap from Singapore's buildings, but they are no match for the Malayan kalugo. Hmm. A few、right. things to explain there. First is what is a base jumper? Well, base jumping is an extreme sport, and you jump from a high place either with a parachute or a wingsuit. The base bit stands for buildings. Antenna, so big kind of radio towers, spans meaning bridges, and earth usually cliffs that they、mm. jump off. So B A S E, building antenna span earth or building radio tower bridge cliff, and they just jump off them. The crazy fools. In fact, they leap off them. That's right. There was that Felix Baumgartner. Oh,、I、that guy. He, yes. He 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 base jump from Taipei 101 quite a few years ago. It's a very dangerous type of. Parachuting, but if you're jumping out of an airplane or jumping off a building with a parachute, hopefully we can also use this verb to leap. To leap is basically the same as jump. You can leap high in the air. You can leap a long distance, like if you're doing the long jump in an athletics competition. Leap is spelled L-E-A-P. L-E-A-P. Leap. For example, the tiger leapt. Out of the tree and down onto the goat at the bottom. Notice、wow. there, it's leapt. L e a p t. That's the past tense, not、mm. e d. I think we can use e d. I think both are、leaped. okay. Really? Le- leaped and leapt. Yeah.、Mm. I mean, they're both acceptable forms. So keep an eye on that. Two past tense forms. Okay. So base jumpers are good at leaping, but they're no match for the Malayan kalugo. If you're no match for something, you're just not as good. At something as another person, or in this case, an animal. They're better than you, and if there was a competition, they would win. So we've mentioned the Malayan kalugo. Malayan means from Malaysia or the Malay area.、Mm-hmm. But what is this animal? It's a good question. I'd never heard of it either. But the article tells us this creature, this animal, looks like a cross between a squirrel and a bat. Oh! So get a squirrel and a bat, mix them up in your mad scientist machine,、mm-hmm. and you will have a kalugo. That's right. It's kind of mixed up. That's、yeah. why we say it's a cross between. A and B. In this case, a cross between a squirrel and a bat. All right. So、mm. basically, it means you're you're taking two things that are really quite different and you're mixing them together. Maybe in a literal way, right? You can.、Uh, Make a certain type type of food, like a a pizza cone, is a cross between a pizza and an ice cream cone.、And、oh, that sounds good. Has a cone with cheese and stuff in the middle.、Ah. It's something someone created, you know, in a kitchen. Or we can talk about a kalugo. Now, this, of course, was not created by a mad scientist in a lab. It was created by nature, but to our eyes, to our experience. We often use a cross between A and B to help us a little bit more easily understand something that's quite unusual,、mm. that's quite strange and quite special. So, if I say it's a kalugo and it's got four arms and legs and fur and hair, you're like,、uh, okay, I don't know. But if I said it's a cross between a bat, all right, and a squirrel. Oh, that gives you a better idea. So it's a good phrase to use when describing something that's quite unusual or quite unique. Now, when kalugos jump, <laughs> their skin stretches. To form a large wing, so I、wow. guess it's a bit like a flying squirrel,、yeah. which we do have in Taiwan. Now, to stretch, s t r e t c h, stretch means to make something longer or wider, so it covers a greater area. We can use it to talk about stretching out our muscles to kind of warm up,、mm-hmm. or to stretch out material on a shirt, for example.、Sure. The important thing is whatever's being stretched doesn't break.、Mm. Okay, so. You Imagine they've suddenly got these long wing things, and that allows them to glide or move on the air. We can also use this sentence: We stretched the tent material over the tent poles and set it up in the park.、Oh. So the kaluga we learned has this skin between its front legs and its back that is able to stretch. And what does it do with this stretched skin? Well, it says this enables them to glide over 130 meters on each jump. That's absolutely amazing. It's kind of like the wingsuit we talked about the base jumpers using, something like that. So this special body part, this special feature of their body, enables them to jump for very long. Long distances. To enable, this verb is spelled E N A B L E. To enable, basically, it means to 
able to make you able to do something. All right, you can do something if you have this skill, if you have this feature, if you have this certain characteristic. We can also talk about certain things. You know, money enables you to buy food. An education enables you to get a better job. And having lots of friends enables you to have an interesting social life. These things make you able. To do those things, for example, camels. Camels store water in their humps, which enables them to go for many days without drinking. So this extra skin enables them to glide over 130 meters. I think most people can figure it out, but what exactly is to glide? Well, it is a bit like flying. It's to move through the air, but it's without. Any kind of engine power.、Yeah. You're using the height, the air moving under you, the currents. You're using momentum, that push, and a wing. Yeah, and you've got a wing that kind of keeps you moving, but you're、mm. not really flapping it too much. You're adding more、no、power. No engines. Yeah. So when birds fly, some of it they flap, and then、mm -hmm. they just kind of glide through the air before they need to flap again. Okay, so these are kalugos, and、yeah. as our article says, however, few people know kalugos exist.、Mm -hmm. We didn't, right? Because they only move at night.、Oh. So there we go. We're not really sure because nobody sees them very often. Now there we use the phrase "few people." When we use "few" like this, we mean not many people at all. Whereas if we'd said A few,、mm -hmm. then it would mean some、right. kind of thing. So the difference between using few or a few, meaning not many, kind of a negative way, or a few,、mm -hmm. some. We also can use little and a little in、mm. pretty much the same way.、Mm -hmm. I have little water, almost none.、Mm -hmm. I have a little water. I have some. I have a small amount.、That's、okay.、Right. And then it says during the day because we know kalugos mostly do their flying at night. So what about during the day? Well, during the day, kalugos are invisible to the naked eye because their fur is the same color as the tree.、Huh. Very interesting. So they're obviously slightly nervous little animals. They、mm. feel safe. Flying around at night, and then during the day, they are invisible to the naked eye. Why? Because their fur, the hair on their bodies, is the same color as the trees that they live on, probably sleep on. Yep. So it might be brown on brown, which means you can't see it. It's invisible to the naked eye. And that very useful phrase is our shortcut for you. So let's take a quick break and watch this video, and then we'll be back to finish the article.